Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1057. If you want to download this workbook 1056 or 1058, click on the link below the video. Here in this video, we have time in and time out, but they're text values. And we need to calculate time in hours. And we also need to take into consideration that sometimes you go from 10 o'clock at night till 3.30 in the morning. Now, text time values to time values. There's a bunch of ways we can do this. One way we could do it is use the time function and do the left of that 2. That'll give us the 8. And then the right of those 2, that'll give me the 0, 0. And then a 0 for seconds. The time will convert it to a time. That's number formatting. Remember, Control Shift tilde gives us general formatting. A uh, time value is always a number between 0 and 1, the proportion of one 24-hour day. So 8 AM is 8 divided by 24, which is 0.33. All right, that's a bunch of functions in typing. We can use the text function instead. The text function, I say simply take that, and I want to format with a custom number formatting. 0, 0, and then backslash to insert a single character, colon, 0, 0, close parentheses. Now what this does is it'll go take the, the four digits, but just insert a colon. Now I learned this cool trick from Barry Houdini many years ago at the Mr. Excel message board. 8 AM, that gives us a text value, because of course text is text. So we simply add 0. Any number operation on a number stored as text will convert it back to a number. And it will know that it's time. That's being treated as time. Actually, what's happening is the formula is sucking the number formatting from there. But no problem. Now, since we get both of our values here, actually, we could Control Shift tilde, and there we go. We have our two values, but really what we want is to subtract the later time minus the early time, multiply by 24, then also take into consideration sometimes that we have a night shift. All right, so I'm going to copy this right here. And I want to take the later time. And I'm going to get rid of that plus 0 because we don't need any more. We're going to take the later time and subtract. That subtraction is a math operation. We'll convert it back to a number. Control V, and I don't need that plus 0 there. Double click and select that earlier time. Control Enter, Control Shift tilde. That's why that keyboard shortcut is so useful. Now, that'll give us the difference between the two times as a decimal. Here is a problem. Now, there's a well-known trick, and I actually have a video that explains in great detail how the mod function can take a negative time like this. And what we really want to do is when this is the earlier time and this is the later time, we actually want to take the result and add 1. Well, one way to add 1 is to do minus, minus 1. Now, why that weirdness? Because down here, we'll see with the mod. The mod function, well, wait a second. Look at that. Mod, when it takes this minus decimal and divides it by 1, the mod function gives the remainder. And the remainder is 0.22. Why? Here's straight from help the algorithm for how the mod function calculates. If this is D and this is N, here's calculating it longhand. It takes this and then minus, well, we're dividing by 1, so it says minus 1 times. And the trick is int takes that number divided by 1. And int always rounds down. So this gets rounded down to minus 1. F9 to, sh to see that that's true. So minus 1 times minus 1, it would be like minus, minus. It's like adding 1. Control Z. So the mod function is our trick. And the amazing thing about the mod function is this divide by 1, it works no matter if this is a negative time from working night shift or a positive time from a normal shift. And you could use some if function and to, to do this also. But the mod is oh so easy. We simply take the mod, whatever that is, please divide it by 1 and give me the remainder. And because of that algorithm, boom, it works for positive, which means a normal day shift. 
or for night shifts. That's absolutely awesome. Now we actually want to come up here and now convert it from a decimal time value to hours. And so since Excel time values take the hour, like 8, and divide by 24 to get back up to hours, we simply multiply by 24. And now we're going to have to put parentheses to force the subtraction first. Control Enter, Control Shift tilde, and drag it all the way down. Now we get some hours, which is exactly what we want here. We worked, even though it was the night shift, we worked five and a half hours. These zeros I do not want to have show up. I'm going to use custom number formatting. So I'm going to highlight the whole range. Control-1 to open up format cells. Come down to custom. And for custom number formatting, there are four sections. We're going to use three of the sections. The first section is always, hey, how do you want positive numbers formatted? Semicolon separates the sections. Control-V, I want general for the second section, which is negative numbers. And then semicolon, the third section, is 0. How do you want 0 to show up? And I'm not going to put anything, because I don't want anything to show up. The fourth section is text. We don't need it. Click OK. And just like that, that is beautiful. Now, if we were to build a formula over here, it'd have to be something like this. Oh, that's much too long. Control Enter and then copy it down. So I like the over here two text with a backslash to insert that colon, the mod times 24 and custom number formatting. All right, we'll see you next video.